Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The U.S. Army employs tanks like the M1 Abrams for heavy firepower and armored vehicles such as the M2 Bradley for troop transport and fire support. These tanks and armored vehicles serve critical roles in the U.S. Army's combat operations, providing firepower, protection, and mobility to support infantry troops, engage enemy forces, and maintain battlefield dominance. And today, we want to show you the 10 best latest armored vehicles and tanks in the U.S. Army. M10 Booker General Dynamics Land Systems has unveiled Army's newest M10 Booker Infantry Assault Vehicle at the Association of the United States Army Annual Meeting and Exposition, also known as the AUSA. The M10 Booker is a new 42-ton combat vehicle with a 105mm main gun. It is designed with a large caliber main gun growth capability to provide protected firepower to infantry brigade combat teams. As noted by the company, the new vehicle is protected by add-on armor panels and under-vehicle IED protection, plus proven ammunition compartmentalization for crew safety. The Booker employs a four-person crew and features an enhanced thermal viewer, a large-caliber cannon, a lightweight hull and turret, and a modern diesel engine, transmission, and suspension system. The Army said that with the Booker in the formation, infantry would increase its ability to penetrate an adversary's defense while retaining offensive freedom of maneuver. The introduction of the M10 into the light infantry brings new opportunities. Oshkosh MATV The Oshkosh M Wrap All Terrain Vehicle, or MATV, is a tactical wheeled armored vehicle. It was specially developed to be used by the U.S. troops in Afghanistan. The first vehicles were delivered to the U.S. Armed Forces in 2009. The armor of the MATV was developed in cooperation with Plazan. It incorporates current M Wrap level protection. This new blast-proof truck provides protection against roadside bombs. The vehicle has a crew of four, plus the gunner. It offers payload capacity of 3,968 pounds, 1,800 kilograms. The Oshkosh MATV can be fitted with remotely controlled weapon station armed with heavy machine gun or automatic grenade launcher. The Oshkosh MATV can be airlifted by the C-130 Hercules transport aircraft, CH-53 or CH-47 helicopters. In 2014, an MATV Extended or MATV-EX with many variants was introduced. It can carry more troops and equipment. The original model is now known as MATV Standard. Max Pro The Max Pro is a mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle designed by Navistar International in cooperation with Israeli Plazan. It was designed to take part in the U.S. military's MRAP program. First vehicles were delivered for testing in 2007. Over 6,000 of these mine-protected vehicles were built, and several thousands of these vehicles are currently in service with the U.S. military. The basic MAX Pro is classed as a Category 1 vehicle. Vehicle utilizes a crew capsule and has a V-shaped hull which does not extend to the engine bay. A V-shaped hole deflects the mine of IED blasts away from the vehicle. During tests, this MRAP vehicle survived a 15-pound landmine blast. Armor of the Max Pro was designed and manufactured by the Israeli Plazan. Armored hull is bolted together rather than welded. This facilitates repair in the field conditions. Vehicle can be fitted with add-on armor. It also provides protection against direct fire and RPG rounds. The Max Pro is fitted with NBC protection systems. This armored vehicle can be fitted with a roof-mounted and shielded 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. M1A2 SCP V4 The M1A2 Abrams is one of the best main battle tanks in the world. It was adopted back in 1992 but was gradually modernized and undergone several upgrades. The fourth upgrade of the tank is known as the System Enhanced Package 4 or SEPV4. It was developed by the U.S. Army with General Dynamics. 
The full name of the upgraded tank is the M1A2 SEP V4 Abrams. It was built on the previous M1A2 SEP V3 and looks very similar. It has an upgraded gunners and commander sights, improved fire control and communication systems. The tank is compatible with a newly developed XM1147 programmable round. Upgraded tanks could reach operational units at around 2025. United States no longer produces new holes for the Abrams tank. Instead, existing holes from stocks are being refurbished and rebuilt to new standards. The tank retains the M256 120mm smoothbore gun. Range of effective fire is in excess of 2.8 miles, 4 kilometers. Striker X General Dynamics has unveiled a new Striker vehicle variant capable of firing laser weapons, launching attack drones, and conducting electronic warfare operations. Called the Striker X, the new military vehicle features a hybrid electric engine that provides soldiers with longer, silent watch capability. It is also engineered to improve troops' battlefield awareness and fire airburst rounds with long-range precision. The new Striker X variant now allows the driver and commander to sit side-by-side -side in a cockpit arrangement, having their own displays in front so they can function better. It has more room in the back for an infantry squad, and it can connect all personnel inside with the vehicle sensors. Additionally, the Striker X utilizes advanced artificial intelligence-enabled computing and open architecture design to support continued, long-term innovation in the future. The open systems approach enables the vehicle to add new weapons, sensors, and command and control equipment. AMPV the AMPV is the U.S. Army's program to replace Vietnam War era and legacy M113 family of vehicles. The program is essential to the future of the Armored Brigade Combat Team ABCT, and will fulfill the Army's strategy of protection, mobility, reliability, and interoperability. The AMPV will be integrated with the ABCT and is required to operate alongside the M1 Abrams tank and the M2 Bradley. The Army has identified the AMPV as its top priority for the safety and survivability of soldiers and therefore meets tough protection requirements. The AMPV leverages aspects of the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and M109A7 self-propelled howitzer, furthering commonality in the ABCT fleet of vehicles. The Army awarded BAE Systems with a full-rate production contract in August 2023 to continue manufacturing the AMPV family of vehicles at a high and sustained rate. The AMPV consists of five multi-mission variants, including the General Purpose, Mortar Carrier, Mission Command, Medical Treatment, and Medical Evacuation Vehicles. Abrams X the emergence of the Abrams X and the many innovations being weaved into the platform is redefining the role of the Abrams tank and heavy armor in U.S. combat operations. As a demonstrator unveiled at the 2022 Association of the United States Army Annual Symposium revealed, the Abrams X new innovations are expected to greatly improve the heavily armored platform's tactical effectiveness. One of the largest and potentially most impactful innovations woven into the Abrams X may be its hybrid electric drive, a propulsion system capable of significantly enhancing fuel efficiency while improving survivability with lower acoustic and thermal signatures. Tactically, a hybrid system also enables silent watch, an ability to operate sensors and weapons without emitting an acoustic or thermal signature. These advantages are greatly maximized by third-generation forward-looking infrared sensor FLIR, targeting systems, which bring much longer range and higher resolution targeting to armored offensive attack operations. M2A4 Bradley The M2 Bradley is an infantry fighting vehicle for reconnaissance and to transport a squad of infantry. The U.S. Army plans to upgrade more than 700 Bradleys to the M2A4 standard until 2029. 
This armored vehicle will be operational until a next-generation U.S. Army's infantry fighting vehicle becomes available. The M2A4 has improved mobility. The main goal during the upgrade was to improve mobility of the Bradleys and allow the vehicle to handle more weight. Electronic systems have been improved. There is a smart engine power management system, which allows to integrate future network tactical radios and battle management systems. The IFV is armed with a 25mm chain gun. The gun is fully stabilized and the vehicle can fire accurately while on the move. It fires armor-piercing and high-explosive fragmentation munitions. There is a twin-tube launcher for TOW-2 anti-tank guided missiles. These missiles have a maximum range of 3.75 to 4.5 kilometers and provide considerable anti-armor capability. Additionally, up to two Javelin anti-tank guided missiles can be carried inside the vehicle. There is also a coaxial machine gun. The front arc of the M2A4 withstands 30mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is likely to be against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. M1296 Dragoon In 2018, the U.S. Army rolled out its first upgunned striker vehicle nicknamed Dragoon. The armored eight-wheel drive troop transport built by General Dynamics and normally armed with no more than a 12.7mm machine gun in an unprotected mount has been rebuilt with an armored turret containing a 30mm quick-firing cannon. Dragoon is an appropriate term for striker forces. More mobile and better protected than foot troops, they're still nowhere near as tough as M1 tank or the M2 Bentley troop carrier. Like the original Dragoon in the black powder and musket days, striker units are a hybrid that ride to the battle but then dismount to fight on foot in battle. That's enough firepower, the army computes, to dispose of other lightly armored vehicles. The 30mm autocannon is intended to employ high-explosive incendiary, tracer and armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot tracer rounds. M1E3 Abrams The U.S. Army announced the path forward for the M1E3 Abrams main battle tank modernization program. The Army will close out the M1A2 System Enhancement Package version 4 effort and develop M1E3 Abrams, which will focus on making the capability improvements needed to fight and win against future threats on the battlefield of 2040 and beyond. We appreciate that future battlefields pose new challenges to the tank as we study recent and ongoing conflicts," said Brigadier General Joffrey Norman, director of the Next Generation Combat Vehicle Cross-Functional Team. We must optimize the Abrams' mobility and survivability to allow the tank to continue to close with and destroy the enemy as the apex predator on the future battlefields. The development of the M1E3 Abrams will include the best features of the M1A2 SEPV4 and will comply with the latest modular open system architecture standards, allowing quicker technology upgrades and requiring fewer resources. This will enable the Army and its commercial partners to design a more survivable lighter tank that will be more effective on the battlefield at initial fielding and more easy to upgrade in the future. Initial operational capability is anticipated in the early 2030s, as longer-range threats increase in both lethality and survivability, the M1E3 Abrams will be able to defeat those threats. That's all friends, thanks for watching, write in the comments which of the armored vehicles and tanks you like the most. Also click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.